Hi, today we're making homemade chicken supreme pizza. This recipe was requested by one of our subscribers. We hope you enjoy the video and recipe. For this and many more recipes and videos, subscribe to our channel and visit recipesaresimple.com. Here we take a look at the list of ingredients. To check out the detailed recipe, you can visit the link in the description. First, to make the crust, add warm water, yeast and sugar to a small cup or bowl. Give it a stir and allow it to sit for 8 to 10 minutes till frothy. Now add the flour and salt to a bowl. Stir well. After 8 to 10 minutes, the yeast solution should be nice and frothy, like this. To the flour mixture, add this yeast solution as well as olive oil and quickly stir with a wooden spoon till thoroughly mixed. Knead the dough with hands for 5 minutes till smooth and elastic. I prefer my dough to be a little bit on the sticky side. You can sprinkle a little flour if needed to help you knead the dough. Now oil the entire exposed surface with a little olive oil and cover the bowl with plastic wrap. Allow to sit in a warm or sunny place for one hour till doubled in size. For the tomato sauce, you can substitute with your favorite smooth pasta sauce if you are looking for a shortcut. Or add the tomatoes to a saucepan with water and boil till the tomatoes are tender and the skin is coming off. While the tomatoes are cooking, you can marinate your chicken. Drain, peel and puree the cooked tomatoes. Here we have the ingredients for our pizza sauce. Now you can prepare the sauce either by returning the puree to the saucepan with garlic, onion, basil leaves, a little salt and sugar. Boil, adding 3 4th cup of water and allow to thicken. Strain the sauce. It should be thick and spreadable and not runny. Or you can saute the garlic and onion before adding the puree, as shown. Heat the olive oil. Add garlic and allow to soften. Add the chopped onions and saute well. When nicely softened and light golden in color, add the tomato puree. Allow to simmer till thickened. Meanwhile, let's marinate the chicken. Marinate the drained chicken cubes with paprika, salt, and lime juice. Allow to sit till the pizza dough is just about ready. When the sauce has thickened, add salt, sugar, basil leaves, and oregano. Now let's cook the chicken. Heat oil in a non-stick pan or cast iron skillet. Stir fry till the chicken is just cooked tender and the juices have evaporated. Set aside the par-cooked chicken.
By now, the piece of dough has risen. Preheat the oven to 220 degrees C 10 minutes before you put the pizza in. Knock down on the dough gently. Divide into two portions to make two smaller pizzas or you can make one large pizza. Grease your pizza pans. Sprinkle lightly with flour or cornmeal. Here I'm using a deep dish as well as a shallow dish pizza pan. Often I also use an old lid and it works just fine. Oil hands lightly and pick up each portion of the dough and spread into the pan using your palms. Press against the rim of the pan with your fingers to fill the edges evenly. Allow to rest briefly. The dough will rise again. Make sharp cuts in the dough with a knife or fork. Slice the ingredients for the toppings. Here I'm using mini peppers that have been seeded and sliced. Mild red chilies, seeded and sliced. Black olives, mushroom and green bell pepper. Spread a thin and even layer of sauce over the pizza base. Next, you can add a layer of cheese followed by the vegetable toppings or add the toppings and then the cheese over the top. I love the cheese on top because it keeps the chicken and vegetables nice and moist. But for presentation in this video, the cheese goes first. For an absolutely delicious blend, I suggest a combination of grated mozzarella, cheddar, Kobe, and parmesan. For the ratios, visit the link in the description. Sprinkle the cheese over the pizza base, avoiding the rim. Top lightly with the cooked chicken and the remaining toppings. with oregano. Add fiery chili flakes if you like your pizza spicy. Place in the preheated oven using heat from only the bottom source if possible. Use a pizza stone if you have it as well. Place the pizza on the lower racks of your oven or on two separate racks. Bake till the crust is cooked golden and the cheese has just melted. Check after 15 minutes. Slide a spatula under the crust to see if it's done. Since oven temperatures may vary, adjust your timing accordingly. Your yummy, delicious, cheesy pizza, Chicken Supreme, is ready.
you like the video, please let me know what you think in the comments section. And let us know what type of recipes you're looking for so that we can include them in future videos. Thanks for watching RecipesAreSimple.com on YouTube. See you next time.